Let me show you a Google Analytics alternative that's super easy to use and is GDPR compliant. It's called Site Behavior and right now it's on a lifetime deal. So we need to check it out. Hey, what's up everyone? So this is Site Behavior and it's super easy to implement in any type of website that allows you to add the code. That means WordPress, Wix, and any CMS that allows you to add the code. So it's not complex at all. And the beauty about this is that it's user friendly. When you talk about Google Analytics, yes, it has a bunch of features and it's free, but then you have issues with GDPR compliance. You have issues understanding the analytics. And then this one is just in a clear view of how to actually use it. And site behavior has its data stored in Germany. So they are GDPR compliant and they are in the process of getting audited by GDPR to be compliant. All right. So that means that they're going to be certified in a few months. Okay. So this is site behavior lifetime deal, $49 for the LTD. Now, if you want to test it out, grab it right now. There's a 60 day money back guarantee. So in case you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it. Now, the way this works is that you get access to unlimited websites. You can install this code on any websites, create websites, etc., and view the analytics. But where it's limited is in the total visits per month. So if you have a website that has a lot of visits, then you want to jump into tier two, three and all the way up to seven for 7 million total visits per month. So it's, it depends how many visits you're going to get. So for example, maybe you have a bunch of sites, but they don't get a lot of traffic, but you want to understand how the analytics work. Well, with tier one, you'll be able to install this code on every single one of those websites and just be aware that if you hit this limit, it'll stop previewing the analytics, but the code will stay there and renew in a month. Okay. So 50 websites heat maps per month, and that's per site and that's per month also. Okay. Okay, so how easy is it to use site behavior? So once you install the code, and in this case, I've installed it on WordPress, all I did was jump into tools, theme file editor, and I've added the code there and I'm good to go. And every single type of CMS has its process of adding the code, but it's not complex at all. And once you add the code, it's going to start kicking in and showing you the analytics. Now, before I show you how this works, let me show the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. And currently they are running a Black Friday sale, which has the lowest price available right now for shared hosting. So if you need hosting for a website, grab it right now. Now, this is the current price that they have right now for shared hosting, for example. And I'm going to show you the business plan because I want to show you how to get a lower price than what it says already there. And once you select the plan, Hostinger is going to ask you how many months you want to pay in advance. I recommend 48 months because you're going to lock in the lowest price lowest renewal price, and you'll be good to go for 48 months for that price. But that's going to drop even lower with my coupon code. So if you add SAS master code and apply it, the price is going to drop to $127 with 44 cents. That's for four years already paid for that shared hosting plan. So that's really affordable. Don't forget to use my coupon code. OK, so back to site behavior. One of the things that I like about site behavior is the overview of how easy it is to understand. Once you understand what each one of these tabs can do, you'll see that it's super easy to understand. For example, site traffic, obviously three users, that's three visits that have been going on right now. The activity duration, and that's an average. So the average of the visits that I've done for tests is one minute and six seconds. The bounce rate means that someone has jumped into the site and left really quickly. The average page visit, so two visits, that means that they jump into tabs and the average is two for that visit. Field, inter field interaction, that means that they've interacted with fields inside of the website. And I have this tested on this website, okay? And the rage click, that means that, for example, let's just say that I have a button there, right? This little chat button there. And I'm clicking on it and nothing is happening. So people start clicking on it with rage. And that means that this is going to trigger a rage click. Now, you have to be aware, that's really important that you see why these, there's a rage click because something might be wrong with your site. So something that should be working, a button that should be jumping to submit a form or something like that, it's not working. They are clicking several times and that's a rage click, all right? The visit over time. So for example, you got the time frame right here, top pages that have been visited, the traffic map. In this case, I'm in Mexico and that's why it's showing Mexico here. You're going to preview the top countries, top resources, the devices that, that have been used, in this case, I'm on a MacBook, but you're going to be able to view the devices here. And if you are developing apps, for example, you'll know which type of device they are using to visit. So, for example, if you have 5,000 visits for MacBook and 1,000 for Windows, well, you'll know that your audience is more MacBook based. and You should focus a little bit more on that app. It's just an idea of how you can use that analytics there. The top clicks, the browsers that they're using, 
the funnels for the user navigation map right here, how they are going through the site. And that's about it for the quick overview here. And you have your filters on the right. You can also create boards to view how you want to preview the data and you can create boards for every aspect of the analytics here, right? You also have charts, which lets you create analytics based on what you want to preview. For example, if you want to view the page views, you'll view it here. If I want to view a funnel, I can open it here and I can see how the funnel is actually working. Now, building a funnel here is actually really easy. Now, the idea of funnel is knowing if they're going through a process that you actually designate. For example, are they going to, for example, viewing the products, jumping into a product, adding to cart, going to the cart and all that stuff. And that's a funnel. And you'll see when they drop and you want to take really good care of that section if they are dropping because something might be wrong something is off maybe they are getting discouraged because the page is ugly they you don't have certificates etc and it just depends why they are dropping for example i'm going to show you by creating a chart i can select funnel here and in funnel i'll just say test add a description there if you like the filter and the step one for example step one i'm going to say the step one is on the home page all right let's go ahead and save the step Step two should be, for example, to the portfolio. Let's just say that there are products that are there or however you want to use that. And you can use multiple pages here or URLs containing that's optional. All right. Save it here, create the chart, and that's going to create the funnel for this one. That means that if they go through that process, it's going to display the funnel with 100%. Or if they drop it here and not jump to portfolio, that means that they're going to drop at 50%. And that helps us give us an idea of how we can use that information to improve our website and sell more or keep our customers, clients, fans, etc., on the website longer. We want to know what's wrong. OK, you can also view replays of what's going on on the site. For example, here's the replay of activity for a one minute, 30 seconds. It's recording everything that's going on. For example, if they jump into a certain page, if they click on something, we're able to preview that one. I won't show you now, but it's just pretty much straightforward. Heat maps. Well, this will actually trigger. It'll show a heat map where people have been going the most. For example, if this was the section where they click the most, the heat map will be leaning towards there. And you want to also pay attention to that because that's where people are going to. You might want to have a trigger a pop up there later on. Maybe that's going to be discouraging, but it's up to you how you take care of that information and use it to your benefit, right? There's also a feedback option that you can add on the website. For example, if you enable the feedback, here's the example page. There's a little tab right here that jumps that says feedback. Now, one of the things I don't like about this is that you don't get a lot of options of how to customize the feedback. If you want to change colors, maybe you want to change it to the left, to the bottom, etc. And I can't find those options. So be aware of that. So it gives me the option to rate this page, add a message here. So I'll just say great and send the feedback. Boom. It's been sent out and we're going to be able to view here all the feedbacks from there. Right. Then we have data to view the visitors. So every single visitor is going to be categorized here what they've done and we can actually analyze what pages they went through, what country they're from, how long did they last there, etc. And just information that helps us analyze that data to improve our website. The events, same as visitors, but events. So what's been happening? So the details, they go to the sections, they click on the sections, etc. And we're able to view all that. Then we have the option for integration. As of now, only Pipedrive is there. Well, not as of now because it's still coming soon. So they need to be working more on the integrations. And workspaces, well, you can create workspaces, jump into the workspaces. If I have more websites, I can jump into more websites from here. So basically everything that you're going to need to analyze your website really easily without getting complex like it's done on Google Analytics. And unless you're an expert on analyzing all of this, it will be a little bit hard to understand everything that's going on on Google Analytics. So this makes it super easy to understand and actually use analytics to your benefit. And right now, as I mentioned, this is on a lifetime deal and you can grab $49. If the limits are great for you, then you're good to go with tier one. But if you need tier two or all the way up to seven, it's just up to you what fits your needs, depending on your page visits per month. So do consider that. And don't forget, there's a 60 day money back guarantee. So in case you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. I thank you all for watching and that's a wrap.